Nickelodeon is desperate. Their biggest series in years is coming to a close, and they're seriously in need of a fresh new face to plaster all over the place. And that's where this guy comes in. The history of stars being made on kids TV goes back to at least the early 2000s. Back before, the kids TV space was every man, woman, and child for themselves, and you could actually have some interesting dynamics going on. Back in those days, the big fight was between Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, and whose live-action titans could hit higher. They'd single out a particular star from a series at the moment and tie them into just about everything they possibly could, which may or may not lead to bigger things down the line. Disney Channel brought us the likes of Selena Gomez, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus, for better or for worse, and the Sprouse Twins, which, depending on how you feel about Riverdale or last year's teen illness rom-com garbage five feet apart, could also be for better or for worse. While their blue-colored competitors pioneered the concept, Nickelodeon had their own share of successes in this regard as well, joining over Miranda Cosgrove, Ariana Grande, Danielle Monet, and Jack Griffo and Kira Kozarin at different points in time. As the age of the internet matured and the major kids' TV battle shifted to the animation bout between Nick and Cartoon Network, Disney Channel's contributions to the long-running tradition have been increasingly tougher to recall, though I won't shortchange Zendaya for being the most successful recent addition to the pedigree. Nickelodeon has been keeping out the star crafting process too, and for the past several years, the apple of Nickelodeon's eye has been Jace Norman, lead star of network super hit Henry Danger. He's been in just about every position on Nick you can imagine. Several TV movies, loads of event appearances and guest cameos, and of course, plenty of day-to-day -day visibility through promos and specials. The problem is... Jace Norman's getting a little old. Not that he's been overexposed, though it could certainly be argued, but literally, he's getting old. Henry Danger is on its final episodes, and after it concludes, there'll be no real reason to keep Jace around. Well, unless he wants to end up in the same situation as Daniela Monet, where she's tried out occasionally for random forgettable things that they just need someone to fill in a blank for. The folks at Nick are, crucially, aware of this, and for the past few years they've been trying to create a new star to replace the dying life of Jace. They first tried this with the two main stars of Night Squad, which was Nick's last sitcom back in 2018. The cycle seemed to be working, and they got to appear in a few things, but then the show's ratings slipped, and Nick decided to throw the whole thing out rather than salvage it. Nick tried again with the two main stars of their next sitcom setup, Cousins for Life, in 2019, starring them in easy by giving them extra pros and such. I'm not sure if they had anything special to do at the KCAs last year, like night of pre-show interstitials or anything, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. However, Cousins for Life's ratings were nothing like what Henry Danger was pulling in, and thus the show was canned after its first season, bringing Nick back to square one. It could be argued that they've also given some of this treatment to both Jojo Siwa and John Cena, but I'd say they're not direct heirs to the throne, given Jojo is more of a girl skewing consumer procs and social media gimmick, and John Cena was already popular before coming to Nick, though he has been thrown around on a few of Nick's things as of late. And so, here we are in early 2020. Henry Danger is now imminently on its last legs, and despite the efforts to patch up the gap, they haven't filled the hole as to who will be the new Nick star to obsess over. And that's where young Dylan comes in. I started off posting a few videos. You guys took me out with the views. Game boom! Ellis saw one. But just when I thought all my dreams came true, I found out that I was starring on my old show called Young Dylan! The 10-year-old is the star of the newest Nick sitcom, Tyler Perry's Young Dylan, which premiered on February 29th. But how do we know that Nick's sizing him up to be their next big celebrity? Because he's been on the network for months already, culminating in him becoming the new President of Nick, sorry Brian Robbins, and to a lesser extent, sorry Nick Can, for President's Day weekend this year, appearing in a variety of interstitials and break bumpers for seemingly no reason until it's finally revealed that he's got a show coming soon. The gambit Nickelodeon is up to here wholly depends on young Dylan the series working out, and eventually getting renewed for further seasons. Nick will likely spend much of March, and possibly parts of April, plugging this show hard and really trying to make it work, just like they did in February, but if the ratings aren't on the same scale as the Henry Danger or Spongebob episode, expect them to start screwing with it after a little while. Perhaps it's ditching a promo here or there, sticking someone different in an interstitial, not putting him in a movie or special. But with Jace Norman aging out, there's also plenty of incentive for Nick to not do that, and hold on to young Dylan for dear life, 
at least in the short term, Nick doesn't have another sitcom in the pipe for months, and trying to break out someone from the cast of, say, All That or Danger Force, while possible, may not be the best idea, given they're all sharing a bigger, less individually prominent role in their respective shows. They can't exactly rise to network-hyped top star in the same effortless way that, say, the kids from Cousins for Life could. For someone in the bigger ensemble cast to jump up, it'd have to come at the expense of pushing the other cast members down, which isn't the best situation to be in. Main characters like Jace and Dylan have an easier time of it just due to their natural positioning as the faces of their shows. They're meant to be in high exposure situations like getting adored by the network. Bigger ensemble casts, while they might have their own moment or two, sort of rely on the rest of their crew to work properly. Therefore, the kind of elevation to celebrity Nick needs out of somebody right now would end up stepping on some toes were it to come from one of them. So looking at overall, it appears Nick's best bet to replace Jace right now is young Dylan. The groundwork has already been laid, so Nick will surely make him their new hot show star du jour any moment now. If you want more commentary like this, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss some new videos exploring the world of television every single week. Plus, you can check out more of my stuff right here or down in the description. I'm Benzie Johnson Jr., I'm enthusiastic about television, and I'll see you next time.